So today I am making nacho sauce and this is my amazing herb tomato sauce and what I'm going to do is take this wasabi, if I can reach it, can't see it on the phone, this is wasabi, this is wasabi root, real wasabi. I am grating it into a paste. I'm also going to grate in these two garlics. I'm then going to take all this great, this is garlic too, fresh garlic leaf and some other stuff and I'm going to, I'm going to blend it all together with some more herbs um, and see what we come up with. Look at that amazing paste. That's wasabi root right there, the roots. I'm going to put out all this in the blender. I haven't finished. I've still got to do that little bit of garlic there. But that looks amazing. There it is. Doesn't that look good? And something I'm going to do here, those are the two ends of garlic, and they're going in my garden, right? Those are the rhizomes. And you'll notice that the tips here this is where the roots are even starting to come out. I don't know if you can see that, but the roots are coming out there. There you go, see that? That's where the roots are going to come out. And the garlic's going to shoot right up in the middle there. Same with this here. So just bury those and forget about them. So I've got my mix here. Here's my mix. And then I've got things like this. This is, this right here is shiso seeds. And they're amazing. They're premature seeds. And all you do is just uh, run down the flour. And I'm going to show you here. It's kind of hard. I can't hold up the um, the post, but you end up with, with the twig, right? And all the other parts ends up in here. So maybe I can try to do it for the way here. I'll try to hold it. It's kind of hard. Well, I have an idea. If this is not, if this will not fall over and cause a big mess. It'll be great. Okay, it looks like it's going to hold. All right. So here's the twig and, or the stem of the, the leaf. Let me move this over a little bit. Okay, slide over here. So these in here, you can actually feel the seeds. If you feel in here, they're premature seeds. Um, they're still flowers. And all I did was just pull it down. So think of this as kind of like adding pepper, but instead of pepper, she saw. Because pepper is just the same thing. Here's another one. You can drop them in the she saw. So this is adding herb goodness into your dip, right? And here's some other good stuff right here. Oh, this is um, fennel. So the fennel seeds here, you just pull off the fennel seeds and just, just put them right into it. Look at the fennel. All this amazing, amazing herb goodness. I cook with herbs. You know, when you got herbs growing, you can use the seeds. The seeds of herbs are like super, 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 super you know, her because they're just full of all the goodness, you know, it's kind of like all the all the amazing goodness you can see there how really easy to come off. And these fennel seeds are kind of crunchy and they're not hard. Like when you wait for fennel uh the uh fennel they kind of become hard. You gotta shell them here some more here. So you end up with a product like this here. There's a couple of seeds on here. Let's not be wasteful. Alright. And put these in here. So you're getting fennel seeds in with your dip. Just amazing, amazing, amazing goodness. And you can do this with flowers. You can do this with whatever. All right, so now you got that. The other thing I'm going to do, remember I said I planted, this is actually the stems of, um, this is green onion here. All right, so that end is a little brown. It's fine. And this is garlic. So the ones that, that are basically flat leaf is garlic. This is green onion, or I think we call them chives, maybe. I can't remember what it's called. Um, so I'm going to chop those and put those up in there, too. So look at that goodness right there, full of green, full of just goodness. Let's see how it comes out when I blend it. And here it is, my wasabi garlic tomato dip. Truly amazing. And here it is. And even with all of the, um, the garlic and the wasabi, mm, I can taste the fennel. It kind of blows out of your nose, wasabi. And this is just pure pack full of goodness to fight away colds, to 
supercharge your health. And if you love that wasabi blow up into your nose, then you'll love this. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to detox my body. Look at this. This is amazing. Mm. It's nearly making me cry. It's so good. Fresh was wasabi dip. And just loads of it. I can just scoop it up. So when you grow your own food, you can do some amazing things with it. And things that you just cannot buy, you can't even imagine other people creating, and it's yours. And you can selfishly enjoy it by doing selfless found ups. Mm. I wish I could share this. I wish there was a like the taste you could like lick the um, your iPad and taste this. Mm. Here. Can you smell it? Here, smell. Smell it. Mm. Lick it. Mm. Go ahead, lick it. Look at that. Amazing goodness. This is living food. This food is detoxing my body, training it, and telling it what real food is all about. You know, I hate to buy Doritos, but they're the only nachos I can get here. And um, I haven't had nachos in so long that I just needed nachos. Mm. Well, I could sit here. I've been sitting here three minutes eating in front of you. You get the idea. Grow your own food. Make your own amazing dip. And share it with the world. Mm.